So there are times when we would want to play a video over several slides without the video stopping. For example, in this case, we have the Earth, which is on a loop. It takes about 25 seconds or so to go around, but we want to play it over the slides without it stopping every time we go to the next slide. So how do we do that? So here's the video. What we need to do is go over here to Format and under Movie. The default will have it play movie across slides, and, and that's what we want it to do. Uh, the default might be Start Movie on Clip. We don't need that. And actually, I just want it to loop just in case I, I talk longer. It won't matter. The Earth is just going to keep spinning. So I can copy and then go to slide number two and paste it in. Slide number three and paste it in. And you'll see that the, the formatting is still the same. It's, it's just going to loop and it'll play across slides. That's very important to have that checked. And you can even change the position or the size of the video as well. So let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's say we put it over here and we'll put a magic move on it. And then let's say we end here. We don't actually even need any transition, but over this one, let's say we'll have a magic move. All right, so let's see how this plays now. This is slide number one. We go to slide number two, slide number three. So you see the video just keeps going. It just keeps spinning. It's on a loop. It even keeps spinning when we move to slide number four into a different size and a different position. Let's go back now to slide number five. And the earth just keeps spinning as if it's just one video, which in a sense it is, but it's over five slides. So that's how you do it. And you could put audio in there as well. It works the same. Okay, so let's look at some examples here. Well, first I should show you in this case. So this is the one video we have. So it's a full screen and it doesn't have any sound with it. So I got sound separately. This is the sound of the stream. And then I can just sync those under animation and build order. You see that I got the video here. Uh, start on click. Actually, I don't need it to start on click. We'll just have it start automatically. But the sound also is set. It could be on click, but I want it to build at the same time. I want it to start at the same time, and it will. So here we go. So you can see that the video and the sound started at the same time. And I can turn off the sound or reduce the sound independently of the video when I move to different slides. So this is the first slide. Let's say this situation is I'm talking about uh, the concept of forest bathing and what, what that means. And this is the title. And then before I begin the presentation, there's a, a kind of welcome. And at that time, the audio goes down. It doesn't completely go off, but the audio has been dampened a bit of the stream. And then when I start in earnest, the next slide, in this slide, now is the next slide, um, the sound is um, just faded out. And then here I can talk about uh, what it means, what does uh, Xingling Yoku mean, and the concept, a definition. And these are just different slides, so just to show you as the example. So there's no sound right now. Let's say I'm just talking about this or talking to the audience. Some key points here, for example, about the reduction in the, the stress hormone and so on. So this is just an example. So these are all different slides that I'm going through. You can introduce the book by Dr. Jing Li and take some quotes from there, for example. All these are meant to support the actual presentation, of course. Now in this slide, now the sound of the water comes back up again to introduce uh, Distracted Steve from an earlier video, which is he's practicing the way not to do forest bathing. So to really get the benefits of time in the forest, you really are not supposed to use any social media, not supposed to use any uh, technology. So here we just have a video. I put another video of the, the splashing water over as he goes into the water, into this video. Again, a different slide here. Yes, that's, a, that's another video. So we have the video of the stream. We have Distracted Steve and this visual that comes in. Mm, don't do it this way. Let's get Steve out of there. And then another key point here, the sound of the water can come up a little bit as we get near the end of our presentation. And there comes in the title again. I mean, this could be when the presentation is over, Q&A is over, discussion is over, the audience is leaving, or this is just sort of the background on the screen as we're going to the next thing, whatever it is. So that was one video of the stream, plus a few other videos on top. But this background video of the stream and the forest uh, was played over about 10 or 12 slides. 
And then that kind of effect is just, uh, it's an object with a lens flare, and you just make the object completely transparent, so you get the animation effect of that. I can show you that again. So you get the animation effect, but you don't see the object because the object is transparent, but we get that kind of effect with it. Okay, let's look at some more examples just to show you what's possible and how much you can stress. And I'm using an older Mac here, an old Mac Mini with an M1 chip. If you're using a newer Mac or a Power Mac, uh, PowerBook, uh, I think you could get even better results. But here we have three videos because the stars in the background, the full screen of the stars, if you'll notice, they're blinking. That's actually a video. Then we have the moon, not actually in a title lock but anyway we have the moon and we have the rotation of the earth as well and then we have some text coming in and then we can bring all the planets uh except for pluto in there which i guess isn't a planet but all of these i don't know if you can tell uh but all of these have animation so all of these are videos which are spinning and even the sun which i had to blow up a little bit so it's a little bit mm, pixelated but it was um it's so massive there, it doesn't really seem to matter. And then we could, for example, go one-to-one. -one. We could look, we could start with Mercury, say a few things about Mercury, have a discussion about Mercury, and then go back. And obviously this is not, this is relatively to scale in terms of the size, but obviously not in the distance. But this is a way, you know, you could teach kids, for example, about the planets. Uh, there's Venus. Now, Venus is the second closest to the sun and yet is the hottest. So we could have a discussion, well, why is that? bring it back down. Let's just do one more. We'll go to Earth, one of my favorite planets. And then again, we could have some uh, data or some information about that. Let's say, uh, here's the question. Well, how big is the sun? I've heard it said this way. I don't know if this is actually a great way to represent it, but just how big is the sun compared to the Earth? So someone said if the Earth, I'm sorry, if the sun was the size, let's say as tall as a door, then how big would the Earth be? And I'd heard that it would be the size of like a quarter or silver dollar, something like that. And then some fact, we could bring in some facts about the sun. And, you know, the idea that by volume, a million uh, Earths could fit inside that ball. Again, we're just moving to another slide, but this video, this video of the Earth and the sun has been continuous throughout. We're just moving from different sizes from slide to slide. So, for example, how long would it take uh, a photon of light to reach Earth. And then, again, remember we talked about how to do this in Keynote. Uh, you could ask the audience or ask the students, elementary students, I guess, in this case, but how many, uh, how long does it take? And then there's some anticipation. Mm, here it is. It's kind of, what is it? What is it? Okay, who is the winner? Yes, eight minutes and 20 seconds. That's insane. I know, it is. Uh, it's amazing. And then we can move back to join all the other planets. Here's another way. So this is just a, an overlay. You could use this as an overlay or it just as a background in this case. So it's the same video that just keeps playing over the slides. That's a slide. That's a different slide. That's a different slide. That's a different slide. And the video just keeps playing behind it. So that's one way as well to use it. Or something like this. Let, you know, This is the, the background video of the swimming pool. Let's say we're talking about the benefits of swimming or something. So these are all different slides, but the video just keeps playing smoothly. Uh, on a loop underneath it. You could even bring data in, however you want to do it. Just examples. Uh, here's one. So we have a beach scene. Again, this is also on a loop. Um, and this, the, this is the question, uh, can time at the beach improve your health? And this is based on a study. So we talk about this uh, study from a couple years ago from the University of Vienna. And then we can take some parts out of that study, such as this right? Living near, but especially visiting the seaside is associated with better health, regardless of country or personal income. Anyway, that's just another example. So that was a three different slides, three or four different slides in that case. All right. So thank you very much. If you have any questions about that, don't hesitate to contact me. If you've made it this far, can I ask to like if you liked it? <laughs> or subscribe. I never do that in my videos. I know to grow your channel, you're supposed to ask early on and often, but I don't like doing that. I don't like interrupting the videos. So if you're still here, I do appreciate it. All right. Thanks very much.